This video clip is part of the EPFL introductory course on information computing and communication. It introduces the third module of the course on the implementation of computer systems. This module addresses the questions of how computers work and what building blocks they need to process information with algorithms. More specifically, the module is divided into five lessons, each of which consists of its own set of video clips. The Lesson 1 video clips would explain how transistors can be used to build computing and memory elements. The Lesson 2 video clips will discuss how different technologies are used in combination to build cost and performance effective memory and storage hierarchies. The Lesson 3 video clips will then sketch some of the main techniques for managing storage content. The Lesson 4 video clips will explain how networking technologies can be leveraged to interconnect computers and their users. And finally, the Lesson 5 video clips will explain why and how the usage of computers needs to be secured to prevent misuse and hacking in particular. Having introduced the module as a whole, this video clip outlines the first lesson on computer architecture. After the present video clip, this topic will be covered in seven further clips. The first one will explain how computers can be programmed in a language called assembler to implement algorithms. The second one will describe the building blocks that make up a computer of the classical von Neumann architecture. The third one will then show how assembler language programs can be encoded to run on such a von Neumann computer. The fourth and fifth clips show how transistors can be used to implement computing and memory circuits. The last two finally discuss how the performance of computers can be increased using various forms of parallelism. The starting point on this journey from algorithms to their execution on computers made out of transistors will be a simple integer addition algorithm expressed in some easily understood but informal language. The first step on the journey will then be to rewrite algorithms such as this simple one in a so-called assembler language that is more formal and thus less easy to read for people but closer to the rigid language understood by computers. The next step will be to explain the high-level architectural building blocks that a computer needs to execute a formal assembler language program. The third step will be to describe how a formal assembler language can be encoded into an even more formal and thus less human readable binary language that a computer can then directly understand. The fourth step on this journey will finally show how transistors can be used to implement a step two von Neumann architecture computer capable of directly executing a step three binary program. The last two video clips of this architecture lesson will finally show how computer performance can be gained beyond the speed of transistors through two different kinds of parallelism, 